Crazy Mike, Crazy Mike's Apps.com with an iPhone app review for Fishbowl Racer by Donut Games. This application is in the games categories iOS Universal, working on the iPhone, iPod Touch, and iPad, all for only 99 cents. Okay, Fishbowl Racer is a very simple game where good multitasking skills are required. Let's jump into the chaos immediately. Very minimalist menu system as most donut games. Tap on Fishbowl Racer. They usually give you a little bit of a heads up, but you tap on the left side to maneuver your moving fishbowl, and then you're going to tap on the right side to launch your fish out of the bowl. So right away you can see you're going to have to pay attention. You can double jump your fish bowl, but not your fish itself. So pay attention. There are quite a few things to run into and there are things like the fish food which give you the points to make you successful and get the high point or the high score for the game. There's a lot of things to knock off the shelves, lots of fish food to collect, and as you go farther you'll find there are continued obstacles to watch out for like that 10 ton weight that I almost hit because that will doom your fish. Oh, we're done. You can only jump so many times double tapping on the fishbowl. Try it again and you'll start over. I haven't concluded how to get the best shelf combo, so if you know, please leave a comment. I've been unsuccessful and I've knocked things off the shelves, everything off the shelf. I mean, I guess if you continually get every shelf, but uh, it's unlikely to say the least. Easy enough though, you can always start over and you can keep on playing this game, which may become habit for me. I don't want to say addictive. You know, addictive is kind of overused in this whole iPhone gaming thing. But it is a habit forming game and I've played. It's easy to play, which is simple and fun. So it's a pickup game that won't take you more than just a couple seconds to figure out. It's the longer time to figure out how to do it successfully and last for more than a couple of seconds. So we keep on going along. As you go farther, you will get more obstacles in your way. Achievements like, you know, two bouncy balls during a level. We got that, but I've already had that one. The next one is five bouncy balls, but there are more like last 30 seconds, last 60 seconds. So don't feel bad if you don't last. There's a 10 ton weight. I suggest you stay away from that as your fish does not seem to do well with that. Stay away from the cuckoo clock. Watch out. It's getting a little dangerous now. So there's all sorts of stuff to watch out for. Oh, we ran into the clock. So as you can see, my score was not very good, but I lasted longer in time-wise than I have in most other games. However, that doesn't make a difference because my score still isn't that good. That's it for this iPhone app review. I hope you can have some multitasking skills because you're going to need them in this game. Until next time, see ya.